Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Yoga for Everyone. Thank you so much for being here. All are welcome. Yoga is a beautiful philosophy that originated in India thousands of years ago. When you translate yoga into English, yoga is a Sanskrit word, beautiful ancient language. Yoga in English means union. So it's the union of our body, mind, and spirit through breathing, movement, and relaxation. I'll weave the philosophy in as we move along. So let's begin. You are welcome to sit in a chair or on your couch. We'll be, I'll be guiding you from the mat. So go ahead, remove any jewelry that you may have. It's best if you can turn your mat this way. And we're going to begin by lying down, tuning into the breathing. So extending your legs out in front of you, I'm just going to turn sideways for you. So to lie down, we want to bend both knees, be flat on the mat, roll to your right or left side, bring your hands back behind you and lower yourself down on to your mat. Close your eyes softly. And let's just begin to devote this time to nourish our body, mind, and soul with breathing, movement, relaxation. Softly closing your eyes, bring your attention inward, and we'll begin to create a rhythm of breathing that we will stay with the entire session. Full, deep belly breathing, the basis of all the breathing techniques. So as you inhale, let your belly rise up toward the sky and your lungs can fill up fully. As you exhale, let your belly lower down toward the earth, making room for the next breath. Your mouth is gently closed. Your teeth are unclenched. Have a pleasant look on your face, everyone. You just bring the corners of your mouth gently up towards your ears. Your body will understand when you have a pleasant look on your face that what you're doing is a wonderful thing. So we have our attention at our low back and let's all bend our knees, feet flat on the mat. You could lift your hips up and then lower them down to align your spine. Your feet are hip width apart. Let your knees lightly touch or keep them apart. Now you notice what's the best choice for your lower back. Legs straight, feet relaxed out to the sides, or knees bent, feet flat on the mat. You choose. The philosophy of yoga teaches us to pay attention, to be aware, to be present, and to find the best choice that will nourish our body, mind, and soul. So right now, what's the best choice for your low back? Breathe deep. And we're going to bring our arms up over our head for lying down hip rocks. Then your knees are bent now. Feet knees are wide apart toward the edges of your mat. And let's begin to go side to side as we awaken our beautiful bodies and we create space around our low back, our buttocks and hips, which will begin to align the entire spine all the way up to your head. Breathe deep. Lying down hip rocks is so nice to do right before bed or first thing in the morning, even before dinner after a day of doing work or any activities that you may be doing. Just put a bath towel down. You can invite the whole family. You can just stop, unplug for a moment, breathe, and nourish the body, mind, and soul with this movement. Lying down hip rocks. Your shoulders are on the ground. And feel this nice massage to the muscles around your low back. Knees to chest pose, hands around your knees. You can rock right and left, or just stay to the center. Use the weight of your arms to bring your knees in towards your chest. 
could have your hands behind your knees. Whichever better, there's always another way. Find what feels best for you. Just relax your toes, relax your fingers. To keep the integrity of your neck in proper alignment, keep the back of your head on the mat, chin toward your belly, shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes softly and feel the sense lengthening to the muscles around your low back, your buttocks. If you're rocking slowly, right and left, this provides a nice massage to the muscles around the entire spine. Even the back of your head. If you turn your head a little to the left when you go left, feel this, notice, pay attention. Stay to the center, feet to sky pose, hands behind your legs, above or below the back of your knees, and flex and point your feet. This is so good for your ankle joints. Yoga brings us in touch with our bodies. We begin to have a deeper understanding of the beauty, the perfection of our bodies, and understanding that the ankles support our body weight all day long as we walk, stand, and climb steps. Even getting in and out of the car, it's such an important aspect of our body. Let's give back with movement. Breathe in and out. This also improves circulation, feet to sky pose. Flex and point, nourishes our ankles. Now knees to chest, relax your feet. Full body extension, big breath, arms back behind you. And exhale a sigh out your mouth. That's a gentle lion's breath. Breathe deep. Now right knee to chest, let's just focus on the right side. So again, find what's best for your knee. Hands behind your knee or in front. Now you can move your knees side to side. That's nourishing for our hip joint. We're also just focusing on lengthening the muscles around our lower back, our hip and buttocks on the right side. Mm -hmm. And breathing out. Relax your fingers and your toes. Use the weight of your arms to bring your knee in towards your chest. And from here, we'll come into knee down twist. Take your left hand on the outside of your right knee, extend your right arm out to the side and just bring your knee over. Now you can rest your foot on your inner thigh or maybe you want to touch the side of the big toe to the floor, but you want the foot, the side of the toe resting on your leg, the other leg, or the floor. Breathe deep, everyone. Breathe deep. Make any little self-adjustment. You can arch your back, lift your ribs up, close your eyes softly. Remember the full deep belly breathing? Stay with it. I'll be your breathing coach. Inhale, belly moves forward. Exhale, belly moves in toward your spine. Breathing in and breathing out as we lengthen the entire spine, calming and nourishing our central nervous system, creating a peace of mind, a sense of relaxation. And we're going to take two more deep breaths, breathing in and breathing out. Full deep belly breathing. And then bring your right knee in. Bring both knees in. Full body extension. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, arms down by your sides, palms up. And close your eyes and feel. The benefits are immediate. Your right leg is longer. Even your right shoulder is more relaxed. Feel how your body has more space and is more relaxed on the right side. Other side, always maintain balance. Left knee to chest. And move your knee side to side. Relax your fingers. Close your eyes. Bring your attention inward as we lengthen the left side of our low back, buttocks and hip, creating space. The movement side to side is nourishing to our hip joint. Breathe deep. 
So with your eyes softly closed, let's make sure our toes are relaxed, fingers are relaxed, hands behind the knee or in front of the knee, your upper body and shoulders are on the ground. It's just the knee that's moving side to side. Breathe, breathe deep. Knee down twist, right hand on the outside of the left knee. Now turn your head to the left. You can rest the side of your big toe or foot on the ground. Everyone will be different. Every day will be different. Or rest your foot on your inner thigh above the knee. Breathe deep. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Full, deep belly breathing. And if you gently place the tip of your tongue at this energy point called tip of tongue lightly at fire point that relaxes your jaw muscles and prevents you from clenching your teeth. So tip of tongue lightly touches the ridge behind the two front upper teeth. Keep breathing, full deep belly breathing. Tip of tongue lightly at fire point all day long, except when eating and speaking and when you can remember this, this trains the jaw muscles to relax. You won't clench your teeth or tighten your jaw muscles. Two more deep, full breaths and knee down twist, breathing. Full, deep belly breathing. And then roll your knee up when you're ready. Both knees come in towards your chest, knees to chest pose. Full body extension, deep breath in. Exhale, relax, arms down by your sides and take a moment. Take a moment to just feel the balance of the right and left sides and notice how you're lying down. Feel the ground beneath you, be present. You can bend your knees if that's more comfortable. And I'm going to guide you in a graceful way to come to a seated position. So bending both knees, feet flat on your mat. Roll to your right or left side, bring both hands on the floor in front of your face and lift yourself up to a seated position. How are we doing? Good, let's extend our legs out. Seated forward bend, inhale, arms up over your head. Exhale, arms down by your sides, that'll be better for your back. Lift your ribs up from your waist and come forward from your hips. So we're going to reach for our toes, ankles, or calves. So you're facing this way. I'm just turning sideways for you so that you can see the choices it's okay to have your legs straight, but I recommend bending your knees slightly. It's better for your back. And you can get a little bit more of a forward fold. Lifting your ribs up from your waist, come forward from your hips. Close your eyes, relax your head down. Breathing full deep breaths, full deep belly breathing. Forward bend regulates blood sugar levels by strengthening our pancreas. We improve digestion and we lengthen the entire backside of our body. A couple more deep breaths, keeping your shoulders away from your ears, ribs up from your waist, come forward from your hips, breathe. Breathe deep, relaxing your head down. Then we roll up from our belly. Good, I'll just face forward for you. And let's come into seated twist pose, bending your right leg, cross your foot over. If you want to bend your bottom leg because it's more comfortable to be like this, you can. Otherwise, keep the leg straight. Take your left arm, wrap it around. Good. And your right hand goes right back behind you like this, close to your tailbone. Your chin is over your shoulder. Come forward, come on the front of your sit bones. Those are the bones you sit on. Use your left arm to wrap around the leg. You'll get a nice lengthening in the back of your left shoulder. Turn a little bit more, breathe deep. Full deep belly breathing in seated twist pose as we lengthen our spine. And if you lift the ribs up, that'll provide proper alignment. Bend your back elbow and roll your shoulder blade back and down. That will nourish your kidney and liver. Good, breathe deep, the filters for your body. Breathing in and breathing out. A 
a couple more deep breaths knowing you can come out at any time lifting the crown of your head up toward the sky good breathe deep deep full breaths and let's all inhale together and exhale come over here and just rock right and left breathe deep so this is a nice counter movement to nourish the muscles around our buttocks and hip good breathing in and out just close your eyes and feel this nice movement and then we come up extend your legs out other side left leg cross your foot over sit up nice and straight you could bring your hands back behind you to align yourself take your right arm wrap your right arm around your left left hand back behind you like this so you just keep facing forward okay your hand is back behind you you don't want it back here you want it close to your tailbone lift your ribs up turn a little bit more so just close your eyes softly chin is over your shoulder so as you keep with the full deep belly breathing right you never sacrifice the breath for the glory of the pose if you need to ease up in the pose that's fine breathe deep full deep breaths turning a little bit more come forward on your sit bones that will align your hips again your sit bones are the bones that you sit on so just come forward on them lift your ribs up turn a little bit more and take three more deep breaths as we lengthen and strengthen our spine nourishing and calming our central nervous system and if you gently bend your left elbow and move your left shoulder blade back and down, that will nourish your kidney on the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. Your beautiful kidneys and liver, the filters for your body. Breathe deep. And let's all take a breath in together and exhale, come over to this side and rock. Rock right and left, breathing in and out. Feel the nice massage to the muscles on this side around your hip and buttocks. And then come up and back to forward bend. You'll see, again, the benefits are immediate. Inhale, lift up, ribs up from your waist. Exhale, come forward, and you should be able to reach a little forward. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. You've lengthened your spine, and you can feel it couple more breaths in as you lift your ribs up. Full deep breaths, reaching for your toes, your ankles, or your calves. And then rolling up for butterfly pose, bottoms of the feet together. This is very good for our inner thighs. You can just move your knees up and down a little bit. This pose has a few names. This is called cobbler's pose. The cobblers were the shoemakers in India. They would sit like this and sew the shoe in between their feet. Also in Sanskrit, bada konasana. Bada is bound, kona is angle, bound angle pose. Or I like to call it butterfly because your legs are like the wings of a butterfly. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, come forward. Bend your elbows toward the floor. If this is too much for your knees, you can just have your feet flat on the mat or even legs straight. There's always another way. So sway your upper body right and left. This is good for your hips. And now reaching butterfly. Inhale, right arm all the way up and over. Exhale, come forward and down. Inhale, left arm all the way up and over. Exhale, come forward and down. So we're lifting up and then doing a side bend. And then we're exhaling, coming forward and down. And a side bend lengthens the side body. And as we reach, reaching butterfly, this is nourishing to our shoulders, our shoulder joints. One more time each side. So we'll inhale, right arm lifts all the way up and over, relax your head, and exhale down. Inhale, up and over and exhale bring your hands out in front of you and just sway you know how think about seaweed in water it just sort of flows right let your body be fluid good you don't want to be rigid 
okay? Be more fluid, roll up. And from sitting, we're going to come to kneeling. So coming onto your hands and knees, sit back on your heels, child's pose, relax your head down. Your arms are extended out in front of you. Now, I have my head up just because I'm speaking, but you could, you know, you wanna have your head resting on your mat. You can have your knees wider apart if that's better for you or close together. And even if this didn't feel right, you can go ahead and lie on your back and knees to chest pose would be the same thing as we lengthen the, or I should say the variation of child's pose. Child's pose lengthens our low back, our buttocks. Child's pose is an inversion. An inversion is when your head is below your heart. Keep breathing everyone and you can move right and left. And when our head is down below our heart, blood flows more freely to our brain, to our skin, to the muscles around our eyes. And blood is what delivers oxygen and nutrients throughout our body. Good, breathe deep. So we're oxygenating and nourishing our face, the muscles in our face, your skin will glow. This is like a natural facelift. Your eyes will sparkle and shine. Good. We're going to do a vinyasa. Vinyasa is a Sanskrit word meaning flowing. So flowing asanas, flowing poses. So inhale, come on your hands and knees and you can lower your hips down. Exhale, go back. So inhale, come forward. Exhale, go back. Now find what feels best for you. Some of you may just come up a little bit like this. That's fine. Okay, others of you, because of a wrist situation, you may need to be on your forearms like this. You see, there's always another way. Or you might just say, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I like to call that not asana. I'm not doing this asana. And you just rest in child's pose or on your back. And join me later. So a few more. Increasing blood flow, strengthening our upper body, lengthening our lower body. We inhale, come forward, and you create your movement. Everyone will be a little different how they experience this. Good. And just a few more. Let's add gentle lion's breath. We inhale forward. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale through your nostrils. Exhale. One more time. And rest. Breathe deep. Move your hips a little bit right and left. Breathing in and out. Head is relaxed down. And now coming into tabletop pose for cat and dog. Inhale, chin up, tailbone up. Exhale, round like a stretching cat or rainbow shape. Inhale, dog, chin up, tailbone up. Exhale, round, cat. Some call this cat cow. I call it cat dog. There are po names, so many different names for poses. It's not right or wrong, it's just where you learned, right? How you learned. So it's more important, how does it feel? So this is a forward bend and a back bend as we lengthen and strengthen our spine. And again, if you need to be on your forearms, you could, that's fine. Inhale, now bring your right leg back, strong lengthening the front of the right hip, strengthening our buttocks on the right side, strengthening our shoulders. Exhale, knee to forehead, forehead to knee. Inhale, extend, lengthen your leg. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthening and strengthening, strong and healthy. Two more, inhale up, exhale. We're balancing two on the hands and the left knee. Good, inhale and now exhale, go back, rest. Rest, breathe deep. If you practice downward dog, which we'll do in a little while, you know, feel free to rest in that, breathe. Full deep breaths, other side. 
Coming up onto your hands and knees, bring your other leg back. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, extend, lengthen and strengthen. Exhale, round. So see, in the physical aspect of yoga, we really begin to understand strength, flexibility, and balance in each pose. Good, breathe in. Exhale when you round forward. Two more, strong and healthy. I am strong, I am healthy. And now rest, child's pose. Breathe deep. Again, move a little bit, right and left. You can move your hips. And then from tabletop, curl your toes under and downward facing dog. So relax your head down and bend one knee and the other knee. Good, breathe deep. So you could also just stay in tabletop and go like this with one leg and the other leg or downward dog, bending one knee and the other knee. Your head is down as if to look at your belly button. This is so good for your legs and we're strengthening our shoulders. So breathe deep. If you wanna just keep doing a vinyasa, flowing back and forth. Do you see how many different variations you'll have? Find what works for you. And then let's all rest now. We should feel some heat some energy, some lengthening. Breathe deep, blood flowing more freely. Full deep breaths. And now coming up, we're going to come from kneeling to standing. So come to a standing position, good. How are we doing? I'm going to pull my hair back. You can have your hair down. When I do my own practice, I like to keep my hair down the teaching it's better up okay so hands are to your heart let's notice how we're feeling close your eyes bring your attention inward and let's go ahead step out wide five-pointed star like this exhale half triangle right arm on the right leg left fingertips reach up inhale five-pointed star exhale half triangle Inhale, pause. Exhale, see a nice side bend. Good, inhale. Exhale, you could reach your arm over by your head. Inhale up, exhale over. Now, five-pointed star, clasp your hands back behind you. So I'm just gonna turn for a moment so you can see. You can see my fingertips are interlaced, my fingers are interlaced. Standing sun, setting sun. So it's a little back bend, standing sun. Exhale, round forward, setting sun. Inhale, standing sun, setting sun. You see your face, it's just a metaphor. Your face is like a rising sun. The arms lift up. Exhale, your face is like a setting sun. This is so good for our posture for your shoulders, keep a softness in the back of your knees. This is excellent for the front and back of your neck. We're even nourishing our thyroid, the gland at the front of the neck, which helps to balance your hormones, helps to strengthen your metabolism. One more time, inhale up, exhale. Now, arms up. And let's do a victory squat. Gentle lion's breath. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale up. So now look, some of you may want to go down real low. Okay. Others of you will just do a little bit. So just a few more as we strengthen our legs. Find where it's best for you. Spread your toes out. You don't want to clench our toes. Two more. Very purifying with the lion's breath. We inhale up, we exhale. Now inhale, clasp your hands back behind you again for standing sun, setting sun. But this time, switch the finger grip. So if your fingers are like this, slide your fingers. So it's the other grip, right? It feels a little different for our shoulders. So we have the other grip. Inhale, lift up. 
standing sun. Exhale, setting sun. Inhale, rising sun. Exhale, setting sun. Soften your knees, everyone. So you see it's a forward bend when we round forward. It's a back bend when we lift up. You can do lion's breath whenever you want. But always, most of the time, it is, so I shouldn't say always, but most of the time we're breathing through our nostrils. It's just now and again, we do gentle lion's breath. A few more, inhale, lift, exhale, round. So good for your shoulders. And do keep your eyes at a gaze. When we're doing standing, Asanas, it's best to have your eyes at a gaze to maintain balance. Good. Now, inhale up. Hands to sky. Exhale, victory squat. Two more victory squats. Then inhale. Five-pointed star, arms out. Let's go ahead and come into triangle pose. Step your right foot out, okay? So now your palms are down. Keep your hips facing straight ahead. Reach your rib cage over to the right. And then your right hand comes down on your right leg. Left fingertips reach up toward the sky. Breathe. Breathe. Now you, you want to stay in the same plane. You don't want to lean forward or back. So some of you will be able to go all the way down. Others just to the knee or the hip. Breathe deep. You can bring your arm over by your head, breathe. You'll feel a nice lengthening in your inner thigh and the side stretch for your body. Let's come back up now into warrior. So bend your knee. So from triangle, we come into warrior and gaze over your right middle finger. Lift your upper body up like that and bend. You could even walk the back foot back more and gaze. This is a drishti, a focus point. The yogi warrior learns one-pointed attention to do one thing at a time and do it well. But now, always come back straight in your leg to your heart center. Close your eyes because yoga teaches us to follow our heart, to pay attention. Let our heart be our inner compass, our guide where love and wisdom, compassion, understanding comes from. And we take this love and wisdom, compassion and understanding out to the world with one pointed attention to help our family, our community, our friends, to help make the world a better place. And we must stay strong and healthy and come back to your heart for guidance Take that wisdom back out into the world. Reach up to the sky in peaceful warrior for nourishment. And always balance with a side angle pose. Good. Come up to five-pointed star. Victory squat, purify. One more time. Strong and healthy. Now, arms out, five-pointed star. Triangle pose. Step, turn, your left foot out. Keep your legs straight, okay? Palms down. Take your rib cage over to the side, and then bring your arm down, other arm up. You're going to feel this in your inner thigh. You can bring the back heel out, the right heel out a little bit, okay? And again, for triangle pose, think about a piece of toast, a piece of toast that goes, bread goes down in the toaster. It doesn't fold forward or back. So keep yourself level and in line. Breathe deep. You can look up at your fingertip or down. Breathing in, breathing out. Gently lift the front of your thigh. You'll feel a nice lengthening in your inner thigh. Breathe. Breathe deep. And you know, if you want to look down, if that's better for your neck, that's fine. Breathe. You can bring your arm over and then lift up into warrior. Bend your knee, good. Lift your upper body up, right shoulders down. Gaze over the tip of your left 
middle finger for one point at attention. Breathing deep as we strengthen. You feel that? Strengthening to the legs, strengthening to your shoulders. Breathe deep, peaceful. Um, well, actually, first, let's come to our heart for guidance. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. When you're standing still like this, it's okay to close your eyes. Please always pay attention to your heart and this area around your heart. Your wisdom, intuition, love, compassion. Let your heart be your inner compass to guide you. And then we take that wisdom out, take the loving compassion out to help, to breathe deep into it, to share with the world starting at home, family, friends, community. And then we come back for guidance. Always pay attention, your heart knows. And then we take that back out into the world, strong and healthy, reaching up to the sky for nourishment, breathe deep, peaceful warrior, balance with side angle, Coming up into five-pointed star, victory squat. Two more with the lion's breath. Then five-pointed star like this, half triangle, exhale, inhale, five-pointed star, exhale, half triangle, inhale, one more victory squat. Step your legs in when you come up, temple pose. Exhale, half moon to the right. Inhale, temple. Exhale, half moon to the left. Inhale back, hands to heart, close your eyes, and silently say, I am strong, I am healthy. I am strong, I am healthy. What I think I create, what I think I become. All right, from standing, we're doing good, feeling strong. Just move my mat up a little bit and let's come down onto our backs. Or actually, you know what? Take a moment in child's pose or go onto your back, knees to chest. Let's rest for a moment. If any of you want to continue standing and do a few more standing poses, you practice a series of standing poses, take a couple minutes before coming down. Everyone else, I invite you to come with me and rest for a moment. Just rest in child's pose. Child's pose is thought of as an official resting pose. You could again be on your back, knees to chest. We'll be there in a minute. For those of you that are in child's pose, if you want to practice any kind of arm balance that you have in your daily regular practice, give yourself whatever gift you need. Everyone else, just pause. Just rest, just breathe, breathe full deep breaths. It's always nice to take a moment after the standing, but again, always remember, ask the questions, how can I help? How can I serve? And if there's something you need before we roll on our backs, that's fine. A few more deep breaths, everyone. Breathing deep, exploring with curiosity and amazement as we nourish our bodies. Breathe deep. Nourishing our body, mind, and soul with breathing, movement. A couple more deep breaths. And then when you're ready, so take your time, everyone, if you're doing something. Let's come onto our lower backs, onto our, not lower back, come onto our backs. Okay, so now I need to remove my ponytail. So if you have a ponytail or something underneath your head of our clips or a towel, remove it. Okay, so now on our backs, let's come into morning mountain raises from the sea. Your knees are bent. Feet flat on the mat, arms by your sides. Exhale, lift your hips up like a mountain rising up toward the sea. We exhale up and we inhale down. 
exhale up. This is very good to strengthen our low back. This is really good to strengthen our low back. Our buttocks, our legs, and we lengthen the back of our neck, our upper back. Your arms are close to your side, so the arms, your arms are touching the sides of your body, and your body is down. Exhale up, squeeze the buttock, squeeze the belly button in. Inhale, float down, three more. Exhale, keep your knees parallel. Pretend you're holding a rolled up bath towel or block in between your knees. And just one more. Exhaling up and lower down. Lying down, hip rocks. Feet and knees are wide apart. And go side to side. Breathing in and breathing out. Full deep breaths. Breathing in and out. Knees to chest, everyone. Rocking right and left. Remember, we started with this. And now we're going to do some yoga sit-ups. What's a yoga sit-up? We're strengthening our abdominal muscles and digestion with movement. We exhale up and we're aware. We inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up, forehead or nose to knees. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze your belly button in. Inhale down. Before you keep your head down, so for me, that would be better for my neck today, but you can lift your head up. Keep going. A yoga sit-up is moving. Yoga means awareness. We're moving with awareness, and we strengthen with this movement our abdominal muscles, which then strengthen and improve digestion. And when our abdominal muscles are strong, and our lower back is supported. We're going to do seven more. So if you want to straighten your legs, get on to the ground or on the ground, that's fine. Exhaling up. Inhale, expand. Exhale up. Inhale, expand. Out four more, strong and healthy. Keep your teeth unclenched. That's wonderful. In yoga, we don't ever clench our teeth. When you Bring your arms up, move the microphone. Okay. So as you inhale, and as you exhale, you come up. As you inhale, you expand. Exhale, come up. Two more. Strong and healthy. Very nice. Exhale. So now inhale, stay here, breathe in and out. Knees are bent. You could lift your hips up and then lower them down. Right hand below the navel or left hand. One hand above the navel, one below. Close your eyes, feel this. Maybe you can feel some energy moving. Heat, more space. Take a moment of gratitude our 28 feet of intestines that allow us to digest food. Eating is such a wonderful gift. Digesting is a miracle. Let's get back to our bodies with movement, breathing, creating space. Okay, morning star, arms out to the sides, final pose, bend your knees, feet and knees together. Cross your right leg all the way over your left or wherever it's comfortable. Move your hips right and let your knees come over toward the left. Turn your head to the right. Perfect. Perfect. Breathe. Full deep breaths. Full deep breaths. You can move in and out of the pose. Lift your knees up, move them down. Ribs up from your waist, shoulders away from your ears. This is all alignment. Relaxing your toes and fingers is alignment. 
on clenching your teeth, internal alignment, breathe. Morning star, the best pose before relaxation, the most important pose. Three more deep breaths. Morning star nourishes and calms our central nervous system and lengthens the entire spine and the muscles around the hips, low back. Rolling your knees up, uncross your legs, align your spine back to center. Left leg all the way over, arms out to the sides. Move your hips left, let your knees come to the right. Right hand on the outside of your left knee. Turn your head to the left, breathe. Breathe deep, full Full, deep belly breathing. Full, deep belly breathing. A couple more deep breaths. Preparing for relaxation pose, Shavasana. And then rolling your knees up, uncross your legs, align your spine, knees to chest, a little rocking right and left. Full body extension, deep breath in. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Now make any little adjustment. If you want to bend your knees, that's fine. Arms could be wider apart, even over your, you know, above your head. Whatever most comfortable. Palms are turned up if possible. There may be some of you that feel like you want to get to a different pose that we didn't get to. Ask your body, how can I help? How can I serve? You always want to make sure that you've taken care of yourself. So if there is a pose that you need before relaxation, go ahead and give yourself that gift or gifts. And I will guide the rest of us into relaxation. And the rest of you can join us when you're ready. So get yourselves comfortable. Relaxation is the most important part. This is where you get to receive all the benefits of all the poses that we've done. Now is the time for the energy that is flowing freely your body is healing, repairing, and rejuvenating every single cell. And all you have to do is just be. Just for a few minutes. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Just be. You are free. Just be.
keeping your eyes softly closed. Gradually begin to deepen your breath, breathing in and out, oxygenating, awakening every cell. Moving your toes and your fingers, bringing your awareness back to your body, and relax your toes and fingers. We're going to transition into sleeping baby's pose on our sides before sitting up. So bend both knees, be flat on the mat, then you're going to roll to your right or your left side, whichever is comfortable for you. Make a pillow with your arm or your hands. Draw your knees in close towards your chest. Please do elevate your head right away though with your arm to support your neck. Just being so proud of yourselves for taking this time, devoting time to nourish your body, mind, and soul. Thanking your heart for beating thanking your lungs for breathing, thanking all your systems and organs for working in such perfect balanced harmony. And you will be rewarded with a sense of well-being throughout the rest of the day, peace of mind, a calmness. Just take a moment loving yourself, love yourself, nourish yourself, Accepting yourself just as you are, then we can evolve into whatever we want once we start with acceptance. So let's lift ourselves up to a seated position, bringing your palms together, hands to heart. One more time with your eyes softly closed, connect with this beautiful, calm, peaceful feeling. Feel the yoga, the union within. And we'll celebrate our class together this morning with the healing, ever-connecting, beautiful vibration of OM that is within us, surrounds us, and connects us all. Breath in. fingertips toward your forehead, acknowledging and bowing to your beautiful body, your beautiful mind, your beautiful spirit that will shine so brightly now and forevermore through your eyes. And lifting back up, hands to your heart. Namaste. I honor the light in you that is the same in me. I wish you peace and happiness. Thank you.